In this video, we will be discussing filtering records in Airtable. So the ability to filter records in Airtable is definitely one of the most powerful features about the platform. And it's one of those things that I don't think a lot of other tools do as well and as easily as Airtable allows you to do it. So filtering records is going to allow you to only show records that meet specific criteria for whatever um, you need at any particular time and hiding all of the other records that don't match. And you can create pretty complex filtering queries based on um, a very simple filtering interface. So in any view that you are looking at, you're going to see at the top um, a list of functions. Um, and this filter button is what we care about right now. So this filter is going to allow you to add a condition. So if I add a condition, um, it's going to be where a particular field, so say category, and then it's going to be an operator. So whether it is, is not, is any of, is none of, is empty, or is not empty. Um, this is, these are the ones that apply specifically for a single select field. It changes a little bit depending on, you know, different types of field. For example, um, a date field is going to be a little bit different. So is a linked record field. Um, but that's going to be the second um, piece of the filter, the operator. And then the third piece is going to be the value. So when category is tool setup, and it's going to allow you to um, only show the records that meet this criteria and hide all of the other ones. You can do I, what I really like about this is, you know, you can add multiple. Uh, you can filter based on multiple values in the same uh, criteria. So where category is any of, we can actually select multiple, um, multiple different values within the same filter and keep it really nice and simple. We can also do is none of, so it'll be the negative of that. So we can say where none of the values in this table match these criteria. And then we can also do whether it's empty, whether a field is empty or whether a field is not empty. So we can add multiple filters together. So I can do where category is not empty, where status is in progress, and where owner is myself, for example. Um, and as you can see, it's going to um, apply this uh, logical operator here um, in between all of these um, different filter criteria. So it's going to be where all three of these are true because we are using and. Um, but if we switch this to or, it's going to be where any of these three are true. So as you can see, it, it doesn't allow you to combine and and or, um, but that is definitely something that you want to do um, for your filters. So the way you would do it is actually by adding a condition group. So a condition group allows you to say, um, for example, we want to see where the category is not empty and the status is in progress or, let's see, or the owner is myself. So um, we can do, we can make this operator and, and we can make this operator or, and then we kind of um, avoid the issue of not being able to combine them just by adding a condition group. So we can actually um, even add another level of condition groups to this um, to make it even more complex. So, you know, you kind of take that as far as you need to to make the filter um, meet the criteria you need it to. And so you can delete these um, pretty easily just by clicking the trash can. You rearrange them just by dragging them around. Um, so, like I said, it's really, really simple and fluid to be able to add these filters to your table. Um, and then um, you can also copy them from a different view. So if there was a filter on a different table that I really liked, I can actually copy that here. I can copy a, a couple of other different attributes about that table as well um, and then just copy them into this table. So that is how to filter records in Airtable. Stay tuned for the next video.